Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today let's discuss handoff to live agent using Copilot. So as you all are aware, Copilot has been used in almost all of the Microsoft products available out there. For example, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, Power Apps, Power BI, everywhere. So it's like acting like a go-to agent for us. For example, if you are stuck anywhere and if you need any information just at that moment itself, so Copilot is the place, uh, is the window or it's like an agent which will help us to proceed further right so the way how corporate works is we have to provide some knowledge source to it right whenever you provide some knowledge source or either any data source to it it will fetch with the help of that key phrase it will give us the desired outcomes with that you know we can reuse it and we can move ahead in our projects or or the work whatever we are going to do so it's similar to our chat gpt which people are using a lot nowadays right so today let's discuss how we can integrate live agent into copilot so if you can if you have seen in many of the shopping application or any software help centers you have seen a help icon out there right so with which you can actually speak or communicate to the live agents at that moment itself it will say um, an agent will be with you shortly right so similar to that so we will see how we can implement with the help of copilot and dynamics 365 customer service and it is also called as omni channel nowadays okay let's see how we can integrate this as you can see my screen this is copilot studio.microsoft.com and it's my default environment okay and in here I have just created an agent with the name handoff to a live agent and I haven't added any knowledge source or any custom topics to it. Okay. So from here, we can directly go to the channels. Inside the channels, if you see here below, there are many things available like, you know, web app, telegram, demo site, right? All these other things where we can integrate it to. So if you scroll below, there's something called customer engagement hub. Here we can see dynamic certify customer service genesis life so there are many things available out there okay so we'll see how we can configure this okay as soon as i click on this uh to it asks for us to create a free trial account okay or else take a subscription of this customer service okay if we just click on this free, uh, free trial it will create a, cu a custom uh, environment for us for example i have already created, clicked on this and if you see here uh, it created one environment for me that is customer service trial right with irrespective of my default and this custom environment this one more has been added out okay so here i have again created one of the agent with the same name that is hand of live agent so since because i have to use this agent in this specific environment okay so i'm going to this specific agent here and again in this agent there's no knowledge and there's no topics which I have added okay I'll directly go to the channels and here I'll click on the Dynamics 365 customer service and if you see here here it says connected as the status okay so generally if we if it is not connected it will ask us to connect it okay we just have to click on this button out there connect and disconnect okay and from here I'll directly go to the Omni channel So if you can see, this is my omni-channel uh, dashboard. Okay. So here, uh, I can see the you know, number of users which has been already been you know granted access to this, or I can add more users. Okay, with the help of this dashboard. And I just before going to this, I want to show you where my agents are present. So what are the agents which you create which we want to integrate to omni-channel, right? So we'll see where are all those available out. If you just click on this Omni Channel Admin Center, it will open up all the published apps. Okay, from here I'll go to Copilot Customer Service Admin Center, and here if you see, there's something called AI Agents. Okay, and here is my agent which I created. Right. So before going ahead and configuring this live agent first thing what we have to do is we have to create a work stream okay if you see there's something called you know default work stream also available 
I'll show you one of the default work stream available out there okay here if you see this is my live chat okay and there's something called chat widget I'll just copy this and uh, paste it in the notepad okay if you see in this notepad I have just converted this as HTML and I just paste this place a script tag okay and I'm saving this and let's open this HTML now in the browser okay and it's present in the desktop so I'll click on this live agent so it's open in this edge and if you see here right below corner right this is a demo so I'm clicking on this it's opening a live chat support right and it says an agent will be with you in a moment so here I'll just type say hi and with the help of the de default uh, chat widget it's giving me some of the answers right it says so what can I help you with and I'm an agent AI agent it says so I'll say product issues so randomly it's just added one of the sample uh, replies and you know chat session to for us to showcase how it actually works okay i'll just say smart drew as my trouble and again say something else so my issue is water flow so like this it will give me the help okay similarly so what we actually need is we have to actually speak to the customer service right uh, speak to actually in a uh, live agent right so let's see how we can configure that so again i'm going to the dynamics 365 customer service okay so from here now i'll go to copilot service workspace before that i'll go to the work streams okay so from here uh, what we have to do actually is we have to create a new work stream okay if i go to the new work stream there are two categories actually inbound and outbound okay inbound as the description itself says it helps us uh, you know respond to the incoming conversations and this will keep our outgoing conversions uh, in a pro proactive manner okay it will keep going on basically it won't end the conversation so i'll choose inbound for us and i'll say next and name i'll give as uh, chat with live agent okay and type i'll say messaging we have record as well as the type okay I'll say messaging and channel. There are multiple channels available like Facebook. If you see social media is also available. Facebook, right? WeChat, WhatsApp. So I'll just say chat for now. And this work distribution mode, you can keep it as it is. And you can say create. So my work stream is getting created now. okay so after creating the work stream, work stream we have to configure the channel okay this is very much important and it is required as well okay i'm gonna set up my chat i'll say chat with agent okay and i'll don't i won't change any, any look and feel here i'll just say next it is giving us the you know uh ui how it looks actually a chat with chat i'll just won't do any customization customizations i'll just keep going ahead and uh, saying next to this okay actually we can uh, do some of the configuration as per our needs actually if you see here there's something called voice and video calls also facility with our live agent we can configure screen sharing also we can configure right go browse everything so for us we can just you know go ahead and we can con set a turn on this notifications as well right and I'll just keep the settings as it is for now and I'll create my channel. So if you see my channel is created successfully. Okay. Now I'll click on done. My chat widget is generated. Okay. Generally, whenever we create such a work stream, right, it won't work actually. I'll just show you. I'll copy the chat widget again and I'll replace this. Okay. Actually, whenever we con we have just configured it, right? So it will actually take some time. What whenever we do some uh, configuration in D three three sixty five, right? It will take either uh, fifteen to twenty minutes to reflect. Okay. So since I added this just now, I'll click on this. 
so it says we are unable to load the chat it will it will be available after 15 20 minutes okay so since then uh, till till then i'll open another work stream which i created okay there is live chat i'll click on this i'll copy my widget now i'll go to the this html i'll replace to, to mine okay let's see this chat and let's click on this so if you see it says agent will be with you in the moment now i'll say just hi okay it didn't respond me anything why because it will send this input to the inbox okay which is nothing but there is something called copilot service workspace if i click on this So whatever queries which we're gonna go to uh, do or you know chat with the live agent everything will be present in my inbox okay so it will show as my work items so if you see everything is available out here okay and if i go to the home and go to the dashboard It's loading so if you see everything all my queries will be listed down here whatever we have actually interacted with the live agent and since i am the agent because i am the one who configured this here is my status i can make my status as appear away as well dnd as well busy similar to the teams right since uh, uh, what it will do is uh, if i try to interact with the agent with the help of this it will show the agent is busy it will won't connect it to me basically if I am in DND mode or busy mode or away mode, right? Only if it's available, if I am available, it will connect it to me. Who is available basically? So we can add multiple users also to this work stream as per our needs, okay? And we can use it. Everything, all the queries and uh, sessions will be recorded in the inbox, okay? So, but our main, our main motive was to configure the live agent with the help of Copilot, right? So let's see our Copilot. I'm going back to the work streams. Okay. So the work stream which we created was chat with live agent. So if I scroll below here, right, here is the option where we can add our bot. Okay. And I click on add a bot and it will list on all my bots and I'll click on my hand of live agent and I'll say connect my bot will be automatically added here now we have to configure our bot to interact with that all we can do that is we have to go to the topics okay by default in the topics there's something called system topics right here we do have escalate topic just click on this escalate topic and by default this escalate topic will say it's not configured right so we have to configure it now so if you see here i removed that uh, not configured message and i just said an agent will be with you shortly and after that we have to add an action that says transfer conversation okay and here i'll just add a message saying that an agent will respond to you as soon as possible so what this will do is because it's it has to go to dynamics digital service right it will take some time that's why i added this added this message saying that an agent will respond to you as soon as possible so in in a moment it will directly go to this inbox and whatever we are chatting with the widget it will or the bot it will just list down or store in this inbox and we can an agent whoever is available they can respond to that specific query okay well hope i i hope you all you guys have learned something new today and if you did please like and subscribe to my channel thank you